Okay developers, welcome back. Now a few weeks ago we covered how to get started on the Tron network and details about their hackathon. Today the Tron network wanted us to share the updates of the most recent winners on all four tracks from season one, hopefully to inspire our Web3 audience to build some cool stuff and take a shot at the next prize in season two. If you're new here, I'm Calvin Tora and on Eat The Blocks we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. So first up, we have Tron Ninja by Tron Ninjas on the GameFi track. They've built a free-to-play retro NFT game on the Tron blockchain, where we can use NFTs as characters in-game. They have a play-to-earn system that gives us in-game tokens of TNT, and their goal is to bring back the social aspect that game arcades used to have. They have NFT staking, bi-weekly tournaments, and TNT mining. Now on the DeFi track, we have Just Money Exchange by Just Money. Looking at their website, they have the cross-chain swap, a bridge, launchpad, gifts, and payments. We can see on their Twitter that they actually completed the cross-chain swap during the hackathon. So you can swap any token from one chain to another. And they also have their widget, which you can place on your own project so you can take advantage of the cross-chain functionality. Now the winners of the NFT track, we have Versac Brick Squad by Turu Global. Their project allows fractionalized asset ownership of real estate using NFTs. It's great to see teams branching out from the art market into other assets when it comes to NFTs. Each property is owned by a group of people via their NFT holdings in a crypto wallet. And this group of people will also become part of a bespoke DAO that has polls and votes to make decisions, as well as the full financial transparency that DAOs provide. Over on the Web3 track, we have DCloud by CC Tech MX. They're creating an open source Web3 cloud storage mobile app, enabling its own ecosystem to enjoy a self-sustainable and shared economy. BitTorrent team delivers the binaries and the DCloud team devs focus on implementing those binaries to specific OS platforms. So they'll create GUIs for Android and iOS. So that's it for the four first place winners on all tracks from the last round and you still have time to join the current hackathon. We'll leave the links in the description below so that you can find out more and start hacking your way to first place in season two. That's it for this quick video. Thank you for watching and happy hacking.